Hi guys, this is James from Playgroup and today we're going to be making some chocolate fudge bars. Ooh. Now, before we start, am I forgetting anything? Yes, you need to put your apron on, James. Yes, you put my apron on. No, James, that's not how you put your apron on. James, can we put the apron on properly? No, James. How am I meant to put this on? Oh, come on. On the over oh, your, that's over your... Put it on. Oh, my gosh. That's it. It's meant to keep your clothes clean. Well, you do have your work clothes on, I suppose, but... Alrighty, so what's the first thing you're going to do, James? Is this one of the things that we've been providing all the mums and the, and the kids for playgroup morning tea? Yes. Okay, fantastic. So what's step one? Step one is slightly melting the butter. And how much butter? 185 grams. Beautiful. Throw it in the microwave, quick, quick. Do you want me to throw it in the microwave? No, no, just put it in the microwave. Just put it in the microwave. And how long have you been in the microwave for? Well, I guess about 40 seconds. 40 seconds? Yeah. So while that's melting, we're going to bake. We're going to put a cup of plain flour into our mixing bowl. So that's one and a half a cup. And that's two and a half a cup. Which equals one cup. Now next we're going to do half a cup of sugar. Kev, would you get out of it please? Kev? Kev, get out of it. Oh my gosh, it's like, where's Wally? Where? <laughs> no, that's not Wally. That's James. So after we've done our half cup of coconut, we're going to do one cup of coconut. So that's half a cup of coconut. And this is one cup of coconut. So the next thing that we need to do, we need to put in one tablespoon of cocoa. I cook a lot in this kitchen, can't you tell? Mm. Maybe we're going to get you to do more. That's dangerous. <laughs> One tablespoon of cocoa. Beautiful. And next thing that we need to do, we need to get out some vanilla essence and put half a teaspoon just, just throw a bit in, James. Cheers. Be brave. <laughs> Was there anything in that one? No. I think there's another bottle there. Where? No, same, same spot. We're professionals, I swear. <laughs> there you go. Just a little dollop. Yep, that's oh, 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 oh my gosh. Half a bottle later. Hey, you always could ripple the amount of vanilla in the things. All right, has that melted? It's melted mostly. Beautiful. I'm going to pour it into here. Excellent. Make sure we get the majority of it. Uh huh. And then what are we going to do? We're going to mix it. So a tiny bit of time lapse there, and I think we've got it all now mixed together. I'm so fast at mixing. Yep, fantastic. So now what are you going to do, James? Grab some baking paper. And we actually have been recycling our baking paper. We pop it into a, when I say recycling, James used the, this bit of um, baking paper for lunch. It was very tasty. 
well, no, he didn't actually eat it for lunch. He actually cooked cooked his um, his sandwiches in the oven at lunchtime, and then I washed it and dried it so that we can use it again. We try and get as many uses out of the baking paper as we can. Alrighty, so you pop it in there. Oops, James, you know what we forgot to do? Put the oven on. Do you want to put the oven on? I don't think I can lift it and put it on my head. No, 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 just grab it. Just pop the you oven on. Putting it on to, no? So we're just putting it on to 180 degrees. There we go. Alright, so we pop that all in there. So spread it out so it's nice and flat. Yeah. Excellent. You're doing so well, James. We get you cooking in the in the kitchen a lot more, you know. <laughs> All right, I think you've done that. Okay, so that's going to go into the oven, and then we might um, while we're waiting for the oven to cook, uh, to um, heat up. <laughs> well, I thought we were cooking the cake, not the oven. I know, I know, I know. So while that's done, James, stop, stop, stop doing whatever you're doing to it. We might make the icing to go on the top of it when it's cooked. All right. So, do you want to grab the icing sugar out? Oh yeah, okay, it's already out. And pop it in. Um... Yeah, we may as well throw it in the oven. Yep. And then do your icing sugar. Mm -hmm. There we go. So what we need for the icing to go on top is we need a cup I don't of think, icing sugar. I don't think there's actually a cup, but we'll just... Okay, all right. Look at that. There's almost a cup in there. We'll call See, that a cup. a cup. Yeah, we'll call that a cup. Yep. We need two tablespoons of cocoa. James, you were so good, you put it away. Two tablespoons of cocoa. Not quite level teaspoon tablespoons, but that's okay. Very cocoa. Ooh. We need 30 grams of butter, mm. which needs to be melted again. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you just go with the soft butter over there? Just next to the knives. There you go. Yeah, 30 grams. Huh? Very, very accurate. Mm hmm And some coconut. Yeah, the coconut goes on top, James. <laughs> so you just need to melt the butter. For how long is it? Oh, I don't know. What do you reckon? 20 seconds? 23? Gotta be exact. Oh, gosh. What else did you, can you tell us a joke while you're waiting? No. No? No jokes? No jokes. Oh, come on, James. You've always got jokes. No. What's brown and sticky? A stick. Ah, there you go. What's the other stick joke? What's brown, sticky, and... No? Oh, come on, James. To get some jokes organised next time. All right, so then we're going to stir that. Yes. Is it melted? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And are we putting any hot water in it? I can't remember. No. Yes. One tablespoon of hot water. Going to put some hot water in that? and a half tablespoons of hot water. Yep. Beautiful. 
Okay. We mix that around and then we're going to put that on top of the um, chocolate base when it comes out of the oven. So what does it look like, James? Oh, very nice. It looks very yummy. Alrighty. It's a little bit runny, so we might actually pop that in the fridge while we're waiting for the, for the base to cook. Alrighty, so we'll come back in a minute and, um, and hopefully we'll be able to put this all together and finish it for you. And after the cake has cooled from the oven, what we need to do is we need to put the rest of our icing on it. And then we need to nicely spread it over so it goes to all the edges. James, what happened to your apron? I'm wearing it. James. And then what we need to do is need to spread a whole bunch of coconut over the top. Just to put like a nice little flavouring on top of it. Very good, James. And there you have it. Chocolate slice, courtesy of James. Stay tuned for next week. Oh my gosh, get out of the <laughs> bowl, Kevin. Um, stay tuned for next week when James is actually going to make some meringues. Alrighty, see you later, guys. Oh, and by the way, if you're gluten-free, you can actually substitute the plain flour that we put into this. I've used this gluten-free plain flour before. And, um, and it works really, really well. Okay, guys. See you next week. Bye, James. Oh, my gosh.